What's up guys, Seth Fighter here, and I'm gonna show you how to pick out the right spinnerbait trailer. Um, when I started fishing spinnerbaits, we weren't putting anything on the back of them. Just a trailer hook usually, and um, get a lot of fish that miss a bait, or don't get hooked really well, or nip at it. And um, Then I started fishing trailers on the back of them, and I really don't need a trailer hook anymore when you put a trailer on a spinnerbait. I don't know what it is about it. It actually makes the bait bigger and bulkier, but um, it seems like the fish commit to it a lot better. And as far as trailers go, I throw two styles. Um, one's the classic old split tail. I mean, this is like the original spinnerbait trailer. And the other one's a, a paddle tail swim bait, a smaller one and a skinnier one at that. Um, this is a Z-Man Minnows, and that's just your standard split tail trailer. Um, when I reach for the old school split tail, it's usually when I'm fishing a spinnerbait deep. Um, you know, like a three quarter ounce double willow if I'm fishing brush piles or, you know, ledge fish or whatever. That's when I'll go for the split tail. There's very little lift in this trailer. Allows me to keep the bait down toward, near the bottom or near the cover I'm fishing. Don't get a lot of lift out of this trailer, so... It, you know, if I put a paddle tail on there, I'd kind of be fighting what I was trying to get out of the three quarter round spinner bait by keeping it down, fishing it near the bottom. So that doesn't give you a ton of lift. Um, not much to it, real subtle trailer, not a lot of drag in the water, but it's a little something back there and um, keeps my spinner bait down. But you know, nine times out of 10 when I'm <clears throat> spinner bait fishing, I'm going down the bank, you know, fishing around lay downs, boat docks, bushes um whatever and that, that's when i reach for the paddle tail swim bait a smaller one this will give your bait a little bit of lift um but there's there's something about putting a swim bait on the back of a spinner bait makes it look really natural and the fish just commit to it way better so like i said nine times out of ten i'm reaching for a little paddle tail or if i'm fishing out off the bank deep you know eight ten feet or deeper that's when i'll go with just old school split tail trailer but that's really all you need to know about spinner bait trailers that's all that's all i mess with there's a bunch of different ones you can try out there but those are the two i've had the most success with <laughs>